carry this bag, Mr. Wallace? Uh, yes, yes, please. I'm glad you came to see me before you left. Well, I had to do that. And I hope it's a wonderful job. Yeah. Write and tell me all about it. The big noise hasn't interviewed me yet. Oh, they won't send you back now. Not after bringing you all that way. Well, bye-bye, dear. Goodbye, dear. Bye. Look after yourself. I will. Here, don't forget this. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's going to be a bit queer. Hmm? Well, we haven't seen each other all that often, but there's no one else now. Oh, come on now, old love. Switzerland isn't all that far. I'll write, don't worry. <laughs> you won't escape the brotherly advice. <laughs> At London Airport, please. Well, bye-bye. Goodbye, dear. Take care. Good afternoon. Uh, do you speak English? Oh, yes, sir. A, a little. In a moment, I will come. Uff, passa. Uff, passa. Nay, nay, do me. Hine, Russa. Excuse me. Uh, um, it would not look good for the hotel to carry a man out of the front door. Uh, uh, sir. Uh, my name is Wallace. Wallace. Ah, yeah, yeah, Wallace, that is right. We are, we are expecting you. <laughs> um, w what happened then? Oh, I do not know. He must have been sick when he got here. It was not the food, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please, just sign and let me have your passport. Oh. I will fill it in for you. Thank you very much. The best room is yours, Herr Wallace. We have nobody here at this time of the year. Thank you. Hello? Mr. Wallace? Yes? Well, this is Mr. Bernays' secretary speaking. We're so glad that you've arrived safely. I'm sending you a car which will be there in 20 minutes to bring you to the clinic. Oh, Mr. Bernay would like you to bring all your luggage with you, as he's made more comfortable arrangements for your stay. Oh, well, thank you. Will you please pay your hotel bill when you leave and keep the receipt? It will be added on to your other expenses. Uh, thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Wallace. Yes? Uh, my name is Wallace. Oh, yes. Will you follow me, please? Mr. Wallace? Uh, yes. Mm. That's fine. Will you come with me, please? Mr. Bernay is expecting you. Oh, th uh, thank you. Um. Come. And furthermore, I have it on the grapevine that Incorporated have just won a $50 million contract to build their new Austrian plant. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Bernay. Mr. Wallace is here. Mr. Wallace! Pleasure meeting you. How do you do? <laughs> Oh, don't bother about all this. I come up here two, three times a year to shed my executive fat, but I keep right on working. Had a good trip. No difficulties. Uh, no, I, I just followed the instructions your office sent me. That's great. Sit down. Oh, thank you. I thought Mr. Wallace and I might seal our contract with a drink. Well, we checked out your references and qualifications. I'd just like to make a brief rundown on one or two of these items here. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. Well, here's to you, Mr. Wallace. Welcome. Thank you very much, sir. You had a couple of years with this outfit in Leicester before you joined the Farm Industrials Group in London about eight years ago. Your shower is ready, Mr. Bernay. Oh, thank you, nurse. Seven years. Correction. Seven. And we're planning to run you in with a kind of conversion course. And not that I think you have anything to learn. I see from your personal details you're more or less alone in the world, Mr. Wallace. You have no close ties in England. Well, um, I... I know it's selfish, but we like that in a candidate. It means he's more likely to be married to his job. 
<laughs> well, my sister's still there. Oh, yes, your sister. Your next of kin. Uh, that would be Miss Wallace. 48 Caroly Drive, Thames Ditton. Yes, that's right. Yes? Well, it's for you, miss. For me? Yes, give me a sign of the book. Oh, how lovely. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, 